Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make Minecraft portable. So you basically, instead of just playing it on another person's computer using the um, online version, you can actually carry all your files around with you. Basically, you'll you'll have the launcher that you use to play it um, without using the web browser. You'll have all your texture packs, all your mods, all your all your save files, wor save worlds, and everything. All right, it's it's extremely simple, and I'm going to show you now. Right now, I'm going to plug in my flash drive. Step one. Well, once you open your flash drive, step one is to create a new folder and name it Minecraft. It actually can be named anything, but just as long as it has no spaces and it's in right inside your um, right inside your flash drive. So no spaces, because that messes things up. All right, we got our Minecraft folder. Now let's go to the actual Minecraft main page. Under beta, click download. Under download Windows, the first link, and they'll ask you when you want to save it. I'm saving it in my Minecraft folder of my flash drive where it already is. So you just click on your flash drive name and open your Minecraft folder. Save. Done. Now you see it's in my Minecraft folder I just made. Now we're going to make, now step two. Or I think that's step three. Yeah, step two is downloading. Step three is making a folder called data. And then what we're going to do is open up Notepad. This is the next step. And we click All Programs, Accessories, and Notepad. Now you can type in what I type. There'll be some things you can change and customize for yourself, but that's only if you feel so inclined to. If you do exactly what I do, it will work fine without it, any problems. At symbol, echo, and type the word off with a space. Then echo, and you have to put in the exact same case I do usually. I mean, it, just do exactly what I do. Same case, and you'll have no problems. All right, loading Minecraft. Dot dot dot. Set in all capitals. Oops. Let me move this up. Set app. Can't spell app. Data equal no space between the equals. And then percent sign cd percent sign backslash data. Next line start and then quotes Minecraft end quote space and then minecraft.exe Alright, next thing we need to do is save it. You have to save it a specific way. Make sure you save it inside your Minecraft folder that you just made. And what the most important thing is the save type as. It's right under the file name. Click it. Say all files. Then type in whatever name you want, but it has to end in .bat. So I'm going to call it play.bat save. You don't have to make your font this big, I'm just making it so you can actually see it better. You can change the word loading Minecraft if you want, like um, starting, but loading seems fine. Alright, now here's what happens when you normally open up Minecraft. You open up Minecraft, you wait a few seconds, you're greeted by this nice funky screen with the updates and stuff, you got your username if you logged in before, and if you click options, it shows you where your Minecraft stores all your data. It store, for me, it stores it in C, Users, David, App Data, Roaming, Minecraft. That's on my main hard drive. I want to take out my flash drive. The only problem is, Minecraft doesn't have a default option for that. They say, store everything on the hard drive. But the thing is, what we want to do is we want to have Minecraft store stuff on our flash drive. So, we have to, so basically what it normally does, it says, okay, store all your Minecraft data inside of your, um, inside of your profile. So basically, if you were to log in as someone else, all your Minecraft stuff would be unaccessible. So what we're going to do is we're going to trick Minecraft into thinking that our profile is on our flash drive. That way, whenever we run it from any computer or any account, um, login account, it will still say, it's on the flash drive, it's on the flash drive, it's on the flash drive. And then Minecraft will be like, okay, and it will look in the flash drive, find it, and load it, regardless of where you are. Of course, they still have to have Java installed on a computer probably or whatever to actually run this, but... Basically, if they could run a Minecraft off the website, they should be able to run it here. So, here we go. Um, we're running play.
double click it, pops up for a few seconds, goes away, then wait, and then it loads Minecraft. And options, game location on disk, e colon slash Minecraft slash data slash dot Minecraft. This basically says, instead, it says E here, it says C, because E is the drive letter in my flash drive. So it basically says, store everything to flash drive instead. We press OK. Now, normally you'd be done, but if you want to copy off your profile stuff, basically your maps, your texture packs, and your mods, then we need to get your, we need to find out where they're stored first. It already showed us, so we're just going back. Don't click on play, but click on Minecraft. And then click on options and it says game location on disk, click the words in blue, and there it is. We're going to close out Minecraft for now. OK and close. Now on our other window we had open with this and this in it, you have to open up the data folder. And inside there's a new folder called dot Minecraft. Open it. Now copy all the stuff from in here, highlight it, and then copy and paste it in here. Right click, paste. <coughs> I'm using a program called TerraCopy, which speeds up the copy speed slightly. You don't need it. You can use whatever you use or your default copying thing that's built into Windows. So basically, you don't need to download anything for this. And I'm just going to wait for it to finish. It says a minute and 30 seconds left. It's about halfway done. <laughs> Almost done. This is about the time I normally pause the video, but I just want to show you exactly how long it should take. I have a really slow old laptop, so it'll probably be a lot faster for you. Okay, now that's all done, we can close this folder out, but we need to keep our flash drive one open. We go back to where we have the Minecraft and the play, run play again, and this time, if you've logged in before, you should see your new username. If we click options, we'll see it's still storing stuff on the flash drive. I'm going to sign in real quick, I'm just going to move mine over. now and also if Minecraft gets updated it will still update to your flash drive so you don't even have to worry about that now single player and there it is my world from my single player where I should be still trapped in this giant hole in the mound there we are I'm still in my hole and then it's running off my flash drive instead of the computer if I was to go over to a friend's house and plug my flash drive into their computer, I could show them this world even though they don't have it on theirs. My computer's lagging Minecraft a little bit. All your settings should be the same too, so like if you had your render distance to short, like I do, you can still, everything is exactly the same. So it's essentially just taking your entire Minecraft profile with you. Alright, that's it. And if you want to, um, okay, hold on. Saving quick title. If you did play a bunch on your uh, world and you want to actually copy your Minecraft from your flash drive back to your computer, then what you do is you just do the same thing as you did before, it's backwards. Instead, I'll show you. You run Minecraft without the play. If I come up, options, it'll show where it's, where it's looking for Minecraft on your computer. Click this, and what you do is Okay, close out Minecraft, you don't want anything to get messed up. Highlight everything, then you press delete. It would ask you if you want to remove it, cycle bin or delete it. Then you say yes, but I'm not going to. Open up data, dot Minecraft, and then drag all this stuff in your, which should be empty folder. I didn't delete it, so my stuff's still here. But when you drag all this stuff back into your um, Minecraft folder on your hard drive, your computer will be updated with whatever you did from your flash drive. Alright, well that's it. Thanks for watching.